Today I visited the Osaka Aquarium called Kayu Can. The aquarium, opened since 1990, was designed by Peter Chermiev, an American architect and documentarist. The entrance is very impressive, as you can walk through a sea tunnel that gives you an amazing visual experience at 360 degrees. Today the aquarium is home to 470 different animal species, for a total of 29,000 creatures. The first area recreates a Japanese forest with a small waterfall and a river. Here it's possible to see some freshwater fish and the Asian small cloud otter, that is the smallest otter in Asia. We move to the Aleutian Islands in the North Pacific Ocean to discover one of the cutest seabirds ever, the tufted puffin. Their wings are pretty short, good for diving and capturing small fish. Near the California cliffs of Monterey Bay, some sea lions are having fun while the big seal is chilling. Now we are in the warm waters of Central and South America, where you can see various species of fish, such as the long-spined porcupine fish. Besides fish, there are also some land animals, such as the iguana and the capybara, and we hope that he won't take a bath here, as there are many piranhas. In the waters of the Amazon River, there are different types of scary-looking predators, like the pirapitinga, the silver aruana, and the piraruco, that regularly needs to go to the surface to breathe air. But to have some fun, you have to take a look at the Arctic environment where the penguins live. They are so funny and everyone loves them. The next exhibition features the Great Barrier Reef of Australia, which extends over 2000 kilometers. Hundreds of colorful fish are swimming together, creating a unique and beautiful scene. The Seto Inland Sea separates Honshu, Shikoku and Kyushu, three of the five Japanese main islands. The sea there is not very deep, in fact the average is 38 meters. The Pacific Ocean is the largest and deepest on our planet. It covers about 36% of Earth's water surface. Here at the Cayucan, this tank is just 9 meters deep and 27 meters wide. People come here mainly to see these two beautiful whale sharks, that is the largest living fish in the world. For the first time I could see the sunfish. I read that they are often mistaken for sharks because of their dorsal fin. The Japanese spider crab is the protagonist in this tank. This crab is the largest anthropod and it can live up to 100 years. This is an amazing exhibition that recreates the marine environment of the North Pole. The area where they keep the jellyfish was the most interesting. There, the atmosphere is so mysterious and relaxing. At the same time, it was like seeing little aliens dancing around. I really enjoyed this aquarium and I recommend you all to visit. If you like this video, please share with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.